Welcome back into high school huddle. A huge game tonight in 6A Region 3. Helen Panthers trying to avoid going 0-2. Helena trying to remain unbeaten in division play. Pick it up in the third. Pelham down 14. Now they're down 21 after this play. It's Jordan Washington rumbling, tumbling in for 31 yards in the score. The Huskies would tack on another score before the end of the corner, but Helena cruising here with an impressive score of 35 to 14. Here's some more scores from 6A Region 3. We've got Homewood big over Benjamin Russell and Chilton County 37 to 3 over Calera in this one. One of the best teams in 6A, Hillcrest Tuscaloosa. Remember their name because they set it up. 6A Region 3. They're down at Brookwood. First quarter, punting, that's a problem when Traverius Banks gets the return. Left, right, weaving in and out of traffic. Puts on the afterburners for the touchdown. He goes the distance. This one, all Patriots. Remember this team because they're going to go deep in the playoffs. Kane Smith going to fake the jet sweep up the right side. You guessed it, another one untouched for the score. 56 to 6. All Hillcrest Tuscaloosa in this one. Some other scores from Region 4. We got a McAdory win. It looks like 42 to 14. And Hueytown, a big win right there. Mountain Brook, almost a 50 burger over Jackson Olin, 49 to nothing. John Carroll off to a 4 0 start. They're taking on Carver tonight. Early first quarter, a bad snap and the punt, a quick turnover for the Rams. James Holman's going to come up with the ball. John Carroll making the most of it. The crowd, they're going wild. Great run here for Chris McFadden. Looking like Darren McFadden from Arkansas. That one duking out a few players. Out at the two yard line, though. No problem though, next play right in for the score. It's 12 nothing, and then they go on to win. John Carroll, 43 to 26. Let's head out to Cordova, homecoming time, and this team going to get their first win. Check out this play by the Hamilton quarterback. Scrambles away, chucks the ball up, and you guessed it. Houston Tibbs in for the scuck touchdown there. Nice catch to end the first quarter. Move to the second quarter now. Holloway again, drops back and finds Tibbs again for the score. That's a dynamic duel right there. Final score in this one, it's going to be an impressive win by Hamilton. Excuse me, Cordova, 42 to 28. Out to Silicaga, blink and you missed it. Trinity Presbyterian out of Montgomery. They're taking on an impressive game. And it's going to be Ross Sanders who pounds this one in to cop out. Four minute drive, the Wildcats force a punt. Next drive, it's Sanders again coming in screen pass and it's going to be all the way 28 yards 14 nothing the final score in this one it was Silicaga we'll see yep nope they lose Trinity Presbyterian 55 to 21. Homecoming at Holt against Dallas County it's Codell Sharp he's going to find the end zone it's Kelton Davis with a quick slant Hornets sting the Ironman early in this one but Holt's going to come back in this game Jordan Samuel with the long run, he's going to cut in and out of traffic. And the Ironmen, they mean business. A couple plays later, they're going to try to get into the end zone. It's Samuel again this time. And he's going to cut into that Hornet lead. The score, it's a final of 28 to 12. Holt over Dallas County. We showed you the, the cheerleaders, now we're showing you the band, Winona Band. Sounding good, they're a high school huddle band of the week. All right, best part of the night, we do it every single week. Our nominees for play of the week, you decide, will pop up a QR code, bring out your phone and you can vote. Voting ends on Monday. We'll start with the first one, Caleb Harris Thompson. They're pretty good. He's gonna pick off Carter Dotson and return it 28 yards for a Warriors touchdown. You think that's the play of the week? It's a house call for Harris, and Thompson goes on to win impressive. That's play number one. Play number two comes from Hillcrest Tuscaloosa, a punt return that's gonna be all banks. Take it to the bank for the punt return. You forget that Hillcrest rolls past Brookwood. If you wanna vote, point your camera to the screen. The QR code voting ends on Monday. Spain Park, the final one, going for two, little trickery. It's Shanks passing to the quarterback, Brock Bradley, for a two-point conversion. They didn't win the game, but they got a play of the week nominee. You can vote. All you got to do, go on our website or go on our app. It's free, wvtm13.com. Drop down to high school huddle. 
All you have to do will be voting all weekend and we'll announce it Monday at 10 o'clock right here on WDTM 13. A great